This is what we're working on today, man. We're making sure the bait well is up to par. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be above par. Be believe me that. I mean, we're going to be able to put at least a couple hundred pilchards in here. I can see myself putting, you know, at least 50 thread fins in really good shape. And that's what it all comes down to. You know, for me, it's make bait or go home every every day. So um, we're going to get this good. Yeah. I can't wait to see how many gallons it is. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Hey everybody, my name is Captain Mike and welcome back to an episode of my Dream Boat Build series. In today's episode, I want to go through the plumbing in a little bit more detail than what you saw in a previous episode. Starting with that best marine pump box, just plumbing the entire boat, the bilges, the drains, the overflows, the inflows, there was so much to do and the guys just nailed it. They actually exceeded my expectations so much that the, this boat holds bait so well. I put thread fin herring in here, I put goggle eyes in here, mullet, a plethora of different types of bait and they all live very well in all of the wells. So today I want to focus on the plumbing. I'm going to show you guys the valve control that I have installed. I still have a little bit of work to do to get it perfect. I'm going to show you guys those two and uh, I'm going to walk you through everything. Come along with me. The nucleus of my entire live well system in this boat is the best marine pump box. Just the durability of this pump box and the construction, I mean, this thing is built for war. It features valve controls, it's got a purge on there, and we got three 1,500 gallon bilge pumps in there that are completely submerged. This is gonna increase the life of those pumps because they're running cooler. You guys can also see the valve control on there. Those are valves that control the inflow to the bait wells. So each bait well has its own inflow right there and I can control how much flow I want to go to each one of those bait wells. What's nice about that is if you don't want to blast your baits, say Ballyhoo with 1500 gallons of water per hour, you can control that, bring it down, slow it down big time so that those baits get the optimal water flow and they swim correctly. So that's really nice. It also helps me control the pressurization. The pressurization is key to eliminate that slosh in the bait well and really it's all about water flow and that's why we have valve control on that. So that's the best marine pump box there. We also have a, a purge right there to get all the air out of the box. And now that brings me to the Ford live well. I get asked a lot of times why I went from a 25 to a 25 and to be honest with you I just love 25 single engine boats. They're super efficient. I can do, kind of do it all. I can go tarpon fishing. I can go offshore fishing. I can even sneak around the flats and play with bone fishing perm if I really wanted to. But just do everything I need to do on one single boat, especially in an economy like we're at where everything's super expensive right now, how to get, hard to get parts. A single engine is really the way to go in my opinion. Now, the real reason that I went with this boat is because of the Ford live well. And to be honest, I really wasn't sure how this boat would keep bait in the Ford live well because it's a little bit of a rocky boat. And typically the more forward you go in boats, the rockier they are. And I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to pressurize it the way I needed to, to get the maximum efficiency out of this live well. But this live well exceeded my expectations. You guys saw in a previous episode that we carved it out and we got about 62 gallons out of it. We need to get every square inch. This is the top of the flange that gets cut off of the live walls. And I brought it in to show you the, the size difference of what your live well is now to what a standard live well is this size right here. And look at the difference. I mean, it's a lot bigger. You got these big rounded corners on this and now we took away a lot of that. You got a little bit more depth than what the regular insert has. 
So I'm curious to see exactly how many gallons more you get out of this. Width is 22 and a half and depth I put as 19 because it's 18 at the back and 20 at the front. So I figured we split the difference would give us a pretty accurate measurement. It is enormous. There's days when I can't even scoop the last six or eight baits out of here because they got so much room to mess around in. Um, but the plumbing is just perfect. The guys at Preferred Marine knew exactly what I needed to get this well dialed in. So the same deal. We got a 1500 gallon rule bilge pump pumping that water into here on valve control. I pretty much have that wide open. But on this well, we have two drains. Because this well is so big, you don't want one drain to get clogged or you don't want one drain to not be able to keep up with all that water coming on. So we have a drain going out of each side of the boat and I don't have those on valves just yet. We actually missed that part of my build when I was talking to Shane. Um, just one of those things that kind of just didn't get done. However, it is easy to go ahead and change that out. So next time I'm in the shop, we're gonna add valve control to the drains, which means that I control the amount of water that's going out. Because I have two valves on here, two drains, I wanna be able to control the amount of water that's going out to get that perfect pressurization to that lid and just get the right static level that I want, the right amount of water, right amount of flow, all that stuff. So that's pretty much, you know, bait well, live well, advanced live well 101. For the majority of you guys, you know, um, you know, what your boat comes with is gonna be usually good enough, but if you wanna go the step further, you wanna control the amount of water that's coming in on a valve, you wanna control the amount of water that's draining, the amount of water that's overflowing, you know, put all that on valve control. And luckily, you know, there's great companies like Gemlux out there that make all that stuff easy for you. And there you have it. That's the plumbing on my 25 Latitude here. Some might say it's a little bit too robust, a little bit too complicated. Um, when you're talking live bait, especially when you kind of rely on live bait to catch more fish, you want to have the best case scenario, best home for them when you put them in your bait wells, that they just live the healthiest and it gives you the best, more natural presentation when you go offshore. Um, if I had to do it over again, I would still do pretty much everything I did, but I wouldn't install this leaning post because that four live well is so good. So what I would do instead is I would put a standard rocket launcher in here and just have a removable live well for the days that we're really crushing the bait and we want to store bait or pen up bait. There are some tweaks that I need to do here, but overall, I'm really happy with the way this boat holds bait. So comment below. I want to know, would you do anything different? You know, things like you know, you might not need or, you know, um, the valve control, the pump box. I mean, there's minimalist approaches to, to live wells for sure. I mean, there's people that obviously, you know, a lot of boat builders that still use stand pipes. Um, but, you know, for the few of us or the, the minority that really, really take live bait super, super seriously, I mean, there really wasn't another option. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of my plumbing. My name's Captain Mike, this is Rural Ports, Tight Lines, and great fishing.